station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We are five days a week. We are seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. We're kicking into May. You got the Fed tomorrow. We got action, man. You are only responsible for your half of a relationship. There are two halves in every relationship, but you're only responsible for, for your half of the relationship. It's not up to you to control the other half. Respect the other half, and there's always going to be peace in that relationship. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 176. NASDAQ's up 70. S&Ps are up 34. Gold contract up $5.20, trading at 1868 an ounce. We got silver up two cents, twenty-two dollars sixty-one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off two twenty-one, hundred and two dollars ninety-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up twenty-six ticks, trading one thirty-nine twenty-nine. The thirty-year up eighty at thirty. <laughs> up eighty. Oh my God. The thirty-year up twenty-six ticks at one thirty-nine twenty-nine. And King Dollar. King Dollar is trading uh, down two ninety-two. 103452 euros at 105 the ends at 130 and the british pounds at 124 to 1 us dollar our phone number is 877-927-6648 give us a call folks want to know what's going on in your world in the world of the s ps let's take a look at them what do you have okay so we get over we take a look at the spy what you're gonna see well first off the, the spies in an abc structure down uh, you got a uh, price projection of uh, 394. You broke the B point. You broke it with volume. Come lower yesterday. What are you doing today? You're bouncing today. You're up $3.38. And you get 74 million shares traded. You, you're coming into like 145 million shares, 122 million shares, 103 million shares, and 119 million shares. So bottom line, you can see how this works out. You get higher price. You don't have enough demand. That's an indication that you're building costs for lower price. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, the same type of setup. The three Qs are an ABC structure on the way down. What a, oh, actually, I'm sorry, folks. That, let me go back to this SPY. <laughs> That'd be shocking. The SPY is an ABC structure down to 394. And we're at 417. The Qs are the ones that is an ABC structure down to the two, 281 area. So we take a look at the, the Qs. We help with the Qs. You're up 60. You get 64 million shares up. You're up a buck 20. Bottom line, this is going into 99 million shares, 108 million shares. You made a low yesterday of 115 million shares. Gold. Gold contract is on an ABC structure down to 1788. And bottom line, same type of setup. Uh, what you have out here, you got a rejection today. You got 157,000 contracts. Now, what you do have in the, not only the gold market, but the, one second, sorry about that, folks. This is, there it is. Not only in the metals, you also have this in the equities. And what it is, is this. You have, the, the metal itself has an ABC structure down. That being said, bottom line, what you're also doing is that you are coming back to where gold broke topside in February. So the real question is going to be, what's going to win out here? You know, because as you look as to where it broke out from, this did come down with light of volume. But the bottom line is that I'd go with the ABC first until you get a real rejection of lower price. 
and a sign of strength. And then, of course, you're going to go over to the U.S. dollar. We take a look, look at the U.S. dollar out here, what you have with the dollar. That is teetering at highs. This thing is very close to really, I suspect we're going we're gonna to find out tomorrow. I mean, uh, it, it's going to be in the language. It's not going to be what they actually just did. It's going to be in the language of what they're continuing to thinking of doing. Because what you have here, you can see this 103, 820. Um, you break that, you're going to 121. And 121, just to give you an idea, I remember 121 because that is when I started the gold report. And uh, that goes all the way back to 2000 and 2002. The high there was 121.02. And that was in July of 2001. So, it, you know, it's amazing, folks. It's amazing that gold basically is still up at these prices when this dollar has been that strong. You know, so we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. Notes and bonds. We go take a look at the note and bond market. The 10-year note right now, that is up four ticks. And the thing that has been amazing about the note and bond market, you know, lower price, higher yield, is that, that the, 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 bond, the bond market did not care about how fast the market was going down. Normally, you get an, you get an action that when you see prices that go that fast, um, you know, the bottom line is they come in and buy bonds. Well, they didn't buy bonds. That's the real bottom line. We go take a look at the, uh, one second here. We had a question about the, I, I went over about the weeklies, okay? Tom, can you look at the S&P and Q's on the weeklies using the time in the trade? <laughs> Doesn't it matter, if, well, let's take a look at the weeklies. What you're gonna see at the weeklies, and I think, well, let's just take a look at it first. So we take, they take the Q's up first, we put these on a weekly, and what you're gonna see here, you say the same setup. Now it's, it's an ABC down in the weekly too. You broke the B point, you broke it with volume, you got a big ABC structure on the way down. You take a look at the SPY, in fact, the, the numbers I gave you are the weeklies on the, on the that's what they are. They, bro they broke the weeklies, they broke them with volume, and that's saying lower prices coming at us. You take a look at the SPY, same, same type of setup. You, had, you needed more than uh, 593, and you ended up with 597 on the SPY. On the NDX, the three Qs, the three Qs were actually bigger than that, but the bottom line is that we had the volume. We broke the B, we broke it with volume. We take a look at the Qs once again, and on the Qs what you have is that we had uh, 510 million, which is breaking 414, which is breaking 301. These are monster ABC structures down. Uh, three, 281, and 281, is down at your next level. So that's where this baby looks like it's going. 281 will get you back to the, uh, what's that, August of 2020. That's how this baby's set up right now. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Dow Industrials right now trading uh, Dow up 167. NASDAQ's up 65. S&P's up 32. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 148. We get the Nasdaq up 53. S&Ps are up 28. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters. You hit the newsletter button. You'll see the opening call on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button, and you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $583 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. When you get Basil's newsletter, you're also going to get about nine or ten Great archive, so you really understand how to ride the market, ride that Chapman wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Yeah, talking about each and every day. If you're looking at the chart on the left here, you can see we've got red bars, then green bars, and red bars, green bars. It's just been up and down and up yes. and down. So what's very interesting is this is the first time in a little while that on a purely technical basis, I'm starting to see some structure come in for some of the stocks that um, either were leading and then just got smashed to the downside, some of them are starting to at least show some signs of strength that is, uh, how should I put it? On, It's hard to give short-term and long-term because everybody has different uh, meanings. My, my thinking here is that we're very close to uh, about a two-week, it could even be a three-week uh, rally and that's going to be very important. It could be shorter. It could be just speed on the upside. But at the same time, because the Fed, what happens normally when the Fed comes in, as we get closer and closer to what I call Fed speak at 2 o'clock, um, on the Wednesday, you start whatever the market is doing, if it's sharply higher earlier on or if it's sharply lower, as it gets closer and closer to the to the actual 2 o'clock to 2.30 time frame, the market just narrows. It just kind of it meanders and it waits. So as far as I'm concerned, looking back historically, I, haven't got, I can't document it because I haven't written it down every time. But if memory serves me well, I very, very seldom – got a major turnaround at the Fed 
uh, at the Fed, um, the, when they when they discuss their book, where they discuss all the you know, that two o'clock and or two thirty, uh, where there's there's a, an open mic and and questions are taken. Uh, in this case, from Powell, I once I remember getting uh, sending su subscribers a short sale. We got the two times short, the DXD. Straight after the Fed speak, and it was a, just a terrific turn to the downside. But most of the time, you're either in the trend or you have already made the turn. So it's not that they they trigger the turn. It's just that's all I'm looking at. So I, whatever they say, it's how the market reacts. And I'll be discussing a lot of this in my show tomorrow at 10 o'clock, just the parameters that I'm looking at. And you can see on this daily chart, the Dow, of course, has been the strongest of all the indices and hasn't gone to its uh, January, uh, to, sorry, to the February low. Um, it just broke the March low by a tad yesterday. So it's got this arch formation. You can see the MACD is holding much better than it was before. I had discussed this. In fact, we were talking about it last week. I said, if you look at the vertical test of the high that was made on the, 4th, on the 29th of March at 35,372 in the Dow, and then that cup formation that retested and went to a slightly higher high on the uh, 20, what was that, to 21st of April at 35,492. If you look vertically down, it's it's almost the way that you look at your, your volume. I'm looking at the same thing with my own technicals. It was much weaker. But now what we're looking at is that the, the MACD is starting to improve just a little bit, and there, there's a chance. And the, now I'm looking at parameters. And all I'm going to say is not, not tomorrow afternoon, but Thursday at this time at about 2 to 3 o'clock on Thursday, if the Dow is trading well above 35,000, uh, sorry, 33,600, and it's uh, 33,200 right now. Um, so that's two days' time. If it's trading in the uh, 33,600s, that would be the sign that I'm looking for to say that the low that we made yesterday, which I think um, has the chance now to produce a pretty good counter trend rally, that's succeeding. If there is a, a, a decline in the Dow, I'm using the Dow because, it's, as I say, it's been the better of the indices. If the Dow is trading below 32,750, um, at that time, that's just saying, you know what? Rallies are just not showing any, um, they, they do not have the strength to continue to, to move higher and will go sideways to down. So this is a really important moment in that the weekly chart has seen uh, a pullback, but we haven't taken out that left side low either. It's got the H pattern, and these H's can turn into a cup formation. So I'm just saying this is what I'm looking at. And uh, we, for subscribers, we've been in cash, big cash position. We have had very nice trades actually on the long side of the Dow um, quite a number of times. Even today, we went long uh, the Dow. We actually went long the uh, the QQQ, and it had a really nice uh, pop, and then it came back. It took us out. But um, I'm making the stops very tight. I don't see any reason to get too carried away, but I am looking at some stocks that are starting to show strength, and they are in areas, various areas, some of them cyclical, and that's going to be important. Are they able to... to um, Rally and sustain a rally. It's not rallying because we've seen one day pops to the upside. We had a 600, 700 point rally the other day. That's not the point. It's sustainability. Hey, so Dr. overall, let me ask you something. Yes. Where do you have oil on, on your, um, you know, ABC show? So, you know. Yeah. So if you're looking at crude oil, yeah, it's been in the sideways pattern. And here's another. Actually, I'm going to discuss some of these patterns tomorrow because this is very important. It had a huge spike to the upside on the 7th of uh, March to about 128, and then it came down. Then it made an that H was, pattern. Oh, I see. That was an E, right? That was an E. And then what happened is okay. it pulled back and it made one arch. And the whole thing about the arch, yep. if it holds the left side low, can you can make that. yet okay. another arch. But the fascinating thing is I like to talk about rectangle formations, narrow rectangles and yep. large rectangles. And look, it's just been stuck in a trading range. But the whole idea here is that it's still in the hundreds. It's not like you can dismiss it. This is holding very well so far. So, yes, that's oil. So these patterns, you know, I... I talk about 
VIXI, which is the volatility index, Dolly, which is the dollar. We've been long the dollar for a couple of years now. It's trading at an all-time high, not all-time high, but uh, at least a recovery high. And that's at 103.48 in this. It's forming a little narrow rectangle. So I like to call these things, and this is also what I'll talk about in my show at 10 o'clock in the Tiger Technician's Hour tomorrow. Dixie, which is the dollar. Bondi, which is bonds. Um, uh, this is, I'm looking at oily, which is oil. You've got the gold, which is goldy, and bondy, which is bonds. So I, I nickname these five different areas, and each one has been separate. Look, when gold, when dollar goes to almost a, a new highs, and gold holds, that's something to be, uh, you know, that's a diversion we're looking at in this market. It's an unusual market. No doubt. Listen, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit newsletters. You can see the opening call right on your left-hand side. Second one down. Hit that button and you're riding that wave. Bows, have a great one. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, John. Thank you. you. Stay you right there, folks. We'll come right sector, back. Now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is right now up 84. You get the NASDAQ up 31. S&Ps are up 21. The reason I was asking Basil about oil, folks, is this. So check this out. You know, we had a, a tigers and tigresses calling about the OIH. So when I bring up the OIH, the, and I, I remember this so well because the, the, the first projection was up at that 30, 300, 36, 305. It got up there. Now you can see if we're looking at it. Uh, March 8th, that got up there, 306.19, right? Now, watch what happened here. We had volume up there, 2.9 2 million. Bottom line, you got all the way up there again, you get the 312 with 1.1 million. Then, bottom line, you come to off of that with some juice. And my take right now, folks, is that if you're in this OIA, you're in the oil business, uh, really watch it. 
because my take is that it looks to me like this thing's topped out. Oh, the OIH in, in particular. So if we take a look at the OIH, inside of the OIH, holding wise, you know, bottom line, you get Schlumberger, Halliburton, Baker Hughes. These equities here are basically the oil, oil service stocks. Uh, so it's going to be really intriguing watching this shake out. Now, let's go take a look at the two big oils because it looks to me they're coming up to the highs to test the highs. And if they test on light of volume, guess what? The oil deal is over. Okay, so you got ExxonMobil, highs 91.50. We're at 88. I, it's gonna, you got, my take is it's going to test, test it. But if you test that, and you get a rejection of lower price, get out of the way, man. Chevron, CVX, the same, exact same setup. We take a look at Chevron. You're at 162. That's trading up. Let's see, we're up uh, 279. Um, you know, that's, this, is, this one's gonna be harder to actually reach this high. Uh, and in fact, it already, oh, this is interesting. This already tested it. One second, hold it. 174.76. One seventy four fifty four. Man, this is this looks to me like it's already topped. This is going to be so intriguing. So watch this. The first high out here was one seventy four. You had volume of fifty seven million. Next one, one seventy four seventy six thirty four million. So we went from fifty seven thirty four. Then you came down to one fifty five. You come all the way back with seven point six million. Yeah. This, okay, now let's go over the oil contract, because this is telling me that oil is going to back off. Okay, so let's get the continuous contract. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get the live contract. The reason being, because it looks like this thing wants lower price right now. This is going to be intriguing watching this shake up. Okay, so... Today, you get 220,000 contracts. That's light contract volume, there's no doubt. Yeah, but I see what's going on here. Okay, so last time we were lower, you had 328,000 contracts. Two days ago, 294. That's too close. Hey, we'll see where this shakes out, but my, my take is that uh, this thing wants lower price. And um, yes, DVN, DVN. Devron, this is in the gas business. Um, this baby, no doubt, has some juice out here, uh, big time. Uh, different setup, though. Let me just see this. And this is, and I'll go with the natural gas, because I know for some folks want to watch natural gas. Yeah, so the way this is set up, yeah, I know the way this is set up, too. This is the same deal, man. So the, the number you're going to watch out here for the end of the week on Devron is going to be like the 6326. Because what's happening here, actually 63.10, you can see what's happening. It, it's over that level right now. Last time we were up there on a weekly basis, it did 92 million shares. So we'll see uh, how this basically uh, shakes out. But this is saying, you know, you got to watch out. And listen, it makes sense. You know, uh, you talk about a run. Dev Devron just went from uh, in 20, March of 2020 from $4.00. You know, a 15 bagger, big number, man, big number. There's no doubt about that. So this is going to be really intriguing. And the thing that's wild is that this actually, this came on my radar just because what, what ends up happening, folks, is, you know, before I'm doing the show, you just get ready to the show. And I, I start thinking, I say, hey, man, I got to find out where that OIH is. And when I pulled that OIH, I was really surprised. That's the real bottom line. And hopefully the Tigers get out at that retest of the highs. We're gonna take a look at the uh, couple of the big dogs out there. We'll take a look at Amazon first. Oh, oh no, hold it. I gotta go back to the oil because this, this is what also ended up happening. Watch this, this is sick. Okay, <laughs> I didn't finish the story because this is what actually ended up happening. When I was pulling up the OIH, before I get on the air, all of a sudden, what do I pull up? Listen, watch this, folks. This is, you folks that have been in the market for a while, you're gonna see how this shakes out, and it's crazy. Hit by a $42 billion loss, shale giants rush to unload oil hedges, okay? The U.S. shale giants stung by billions of dollars in hedging losses are spending big bucks to ditch their positions in a risky bet 
that prices stay high. Now, if you remember the last big deal inside of the, that had to do with oil and hedging, it had to do with folks, the airlines that were hedging, okay? And what it ended up happening is this. Let me go pull this up, because this is so bizarre, it's crazy. And the, what's the crazy part about this is that it happened so long ago, but I remember it so well. But the only airline that kept their hedge on, they took it off slightly, but the only one that kept it on was Southwest. So if we bring this back, what you're gonna see, I believe this was like when oil hit 154. So I'm putting a continuous contract up in the oil market. What was that? 147, yeah. So what had happened is this. This is going all the way back to 2009. The airlines had put hedges on. And then what ended up happening, okay, that what they had done, this is what they had done. They had actually put hedges on to, they had calls that if oil went higher, they would make a fortune. So what ended up happening is this, is that as oil had gone higher, Delta, American, United, they all needed the money, right, to basically stay around. So they sold their hedges. And while needless to say, what ended up happening, oil ended up going from $59 in 2006 up to $147 at the end of 2006. Okay, so they get toasted, roasted. Southwest, however, didn't. Now, the ironic part about this whole story is that I remember this so well. If Delta had kept their hedge, it would have been like the biggest trade that most of us have ever seen. I mean, it was billions upon billions. Okay, so now let's go back to the story of what the shale producers are doing right now. Now, this is pretty sick, okay? Because, where are you? Oh, don't do this to me, one second. This one, here we go. Because what is happening now is that these companies have monster losses because they, bottom line, they sold full with their oil. So check it out. You got Pioneer, you got EOG Resources. Uh, they're posed for historic profits, yeah, when they report in earnings this week. But those windfall earnings could be even higher if they weren't a, a massive accounting losses from hedges that protect against falling prices. Um, <laughs> the, the producers in the aggregate are looking at about 42 billion in oil and gas hedging losses in 2023. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Okay, so let's go on with the story. So this is what you have. The Pioneer... Resources, EOG, you know, bottom line, they're going to post historic profits. That being said, simultaneously, on their books, folks, they have some monster accounting losses, okay? So, in the aggregate, $42 billion is on the books right now. Um, now, what you have is this. Okay, so let's look at this. This is what's posted so far. You had Hess Corporation in March pay $325 million to exit some of the hedges. You had Pioneer, which reported $2 billion in hedging losses in 2021, spent $328 million to drop its hedges, and EOG, with $2.8 billion in hedging losses in the first quarter, has paid $85 million. That, now, that, that's not off. The moves could, this goes on, the moves could pay off. A Pioneer dropping the hedges could generate more than $1 billion additional revenue this year, according to the energy but it's also risky. Of course, we know it's also risky. What's the risky part about it, folks? The risky part about it is that they put the hedges on thinking that oil's gonna stay at a certain price. They have the oil, they can, they can push the oil out, okay? That's how this works, okay? So it's a little bit different than you and I putting a trade on for this kind of money. But the bottom line is that when it happened and when I was looking at the OIH, this also popped up, which was just blowing my mind. Now, there's another part of this, and I wanna thank the Tigers and Tigresses, Duffy and the Den, because if you look at, I think it was Duffy, whoever brought up VLO, Valero, um, uh, Louis, okay? Um, oh, Duffy and Louis, both of you. Okay, so thank you. So watch this. Now, this is how this works. This is Valero Energy, okay? Valero has gone from a price point of uh, 65, and it's a monster, man. Today, it's up 315 You're at $120.10. Now, the reason for that, so what we did is this. We started at the aspect of where the OIH is, which is the oil services, right? Then I came into the aspect of ExxonMobil and Chevron, okay, which is the producers. Now, this baby here, this is all about the crack spread, folks. And the crack spread right now is a monster, okay? And this is the end result, though. This is why that when you're going to get your gas filled up, you're dealing with $5 gas when, well, watch this now, when we go back, let's go back to the, the oil market again, because you can see that the oil market really hasn't moved much, and it's like, okay, why are we dealing with that? We're dealing with it, folks, because Valero can get away with it. That's what it comes down to. But guess what? It doesn't last long. It's, it's like the, so, so picture this, I, you know, I think, I think I paid four seventy five the other day, um, and, you know, bottom line, I'm saying to myself, why am I paying more money? Meaning it was, about, it was a good jump of about 45, 50 cents in Florida, okay? And it has to do with the crack spread. So if you bring up, what's VLO, we bring this up, it's going to be, the crack spreads, they've been this high before, but they're monsters. Okay, the diesel folks, they're going to get smoked because it won't last much longer. It lasts two or three weeks longer and that's it. Because what happens is this, you got to remember how this works. There's plenty of oil in the market right now. 
what's happening is that they get the squeeze going on because you're coming into the summer, you get the spring going, and they'll get away with whatever they can get away with. You can see light crude refinery, refinery closes, and a diesel cracks the sky high. Yeah, we'll see where the rest of the shakes out, but it's pretty wild uh, the way it, you know, is happening right, right here, right now. There's no doubt about it. We go take a look at, let's go take a look at Ma Bell. So this was really intriguing that uh, the phone companies actually, you know, uh, Ma Bell's going up. Um, let's see what they have to say, because this is kind of intriguing. This is really intriguing, actually. So... Ma Bell's going to raise prices uh, on older mobile service plans in an effort to squeeze more revenue out of customers uh, and blunt quickening inflation. Yeah, I mean, it, what, what's happen, what, what happens with inflation, folks, is this. As soon as inflation is into all of our heads, everyone goes up on price. And that's where this really gets uh, accelerated on the way up. The price increases mark a high-profile reversal for industry that has mostly competed for new customers with discounts, free phones, and low-priced uh, family plans. Even after shrinking for, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's only a two-tier market now. It's a three-tier market. The price increases are for the first, let's see, first three years. Raising the monthly fee on previous plans up to $6 a month for a single customer, $12 for families. Man, that's a, that's. And watch this. This is my belt takes in so much money. This is going to be a monster number, folks. So if we take a look what they take in, they take in $130 billion. And right now, they took in $38 billion last quarter. They're expecting $31 billion this quarter. And that's because they spun off, uh, you know, they, I believe, the want of communications and all that stuff. Um, that being said, they're going to, uh, you, you can see actually what happened. You can see that they got out of the media business, and now they're going to concentrate on the phone business. So uh, let's just take a look at this technically and see how this is set up. So the low for the year out here is 16, the high is 25. They pay a 5.73% dividend. Put this on a weekly. Okay, well, they got the work to do, but they're off the lows. You can see this. They, they, they came off those lows a few months ago in December. They come up again with uh, good volume. Hey, now, check this out. And I want to uh, thank one of the Tigers for sending this over to us. Because the new, uh, this, this is a heads up for everyone. Please, everyone just, this, just drop whatever you're doing right now and listen to this. Because this is freaking awesome, okay? Treasury Direct just come out with the new I-bonds, okay? The bottom line is that every person can buy $10,000. That's it. It's only $10,000 a year you can buy. But guess what? You know what the, commission, you know what the percentage rate is, folks, right now? 9.62%. So it's not like you can, you know, throw over 100,000, you know, a couple hundred grand. But guess what? The bottom line, you still get on 10,000 bucks, you're going to make $962. You know, it's, it's something that, you know, tell your family, tell your friends. Um, it's, you know, and listen, that can go on longer because with the way these work, I remember the last time, man, that you could get into just laddering these, man. You know, every year you get 10,000. If, if inflation keeps going, you're going to be built up. It doesn't mean that you only have it for a year. They reset. This, this set right here is to October of this year. So keep it in mind. And there's no commissions. Go, if you go to Treasury Direct, there's no commissions on these at all. Zero. You're buying right from the Treasury. Uh, now, the wild thing here, when I was looking at this, I'm saying to myself, okay, we know that our debt is huge. It's like, you know, how, why do they have to pay 9.62%? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a big number. And no, you cannot, that, that, my point is, is this, I know, we all get excited. You only can put $10,000 in, but guess what? $10,000 is a lot, well, to get the type of interest that we're talking about, okay? Check it out. Dow Industrials, 
down eight. NASDAQ off 19, S&P's up eight. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 107. You get the NASDAQ up 29. S&P's up 23. So I have the website up, folks. It's, it's treasurydirect.gov, okay? And so the way that the I-bonds work is this, okay? Is that it, it's the I-bonds that are paying the most amount of interest. And the, and the reason is this, is that the calculation that they do, again, each person that has a Social Security number can invest $10,000 per year. That's how it works. That's all. That's the limit, okay? That being said, what ends up happening is that the way the I bonds work, the I is for inflation, okay? So what ends up happening is that the Treasury pays a rate, and then it's the rate plus inflation. That's how this goes. That's why these things are so high. Bottom line, if inflation stays high, guess what, man? And I happen to remember um, when, you know, Rates were really high. I mean, you were talking about savings bonds uh, that were paying 13, 14%. In fact, uh, Tommy talked about it on the air because when Tommy was born, that is when, you know, you, there was always the thing, you know, with relatives giving you, you know, uh, bonds for presents and it, it really worked out really well because the bottom line is that they were, they were very large numbers in 1980. That's, you know, that's when he was born. Um, this is something, though, that you should look at because the bottom line, as one of the Tigers in here were just saying, you know, 30 years uh, at, at that price, if that was the case, is 157000 Not that I think inflation is going to stay that high. But guess what? Even for, six, for a year, two years, the bottom line is that uh, there's very few investments where you can say it's like a 99.9% .9 that you're going to basically make that kind of money. Okay, um, 
you know, there's always a risk in everything, but in Treasury, if the, if the Treasury's gonna go south, the whole world's gonna go south, so. Tomorrow, what we have, you have, of course, Tommy's gonna kick us off. Dave White's gonna be on when the Fed comes out. Fed's gonna come out at two o'clock. 2.30 is going to be the news conference. And, you know, I suspect what you're gonna have is that the half a point is basically baked into this market. Um, the number you're going to keep going back to is that the Fed wants to go to 2.5%. And right now, we're at 0.25 to 0.50. So we got a long way to go, folks. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. 9 o'clock kicks us off. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Yeah, look at them, folks. Building wealth.